What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So my name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey. So today, it is about that time that we begin our holiday planning. And I have decided that I want to do a complete overhaul on my planner. So I recently hauled a couple things. So before we actually get into the planner, I want to show you some of the things that I picked up. Um, so first things first, we'll go over these together, but I picked up the Live Love Posh, two of their holiday sticker books that they recently came out with, and I literally just got this today, so I was really excited to come on here and share. There's like a little thank you card, a little freebie sticker, which is super cute, and then I got the Chic Christmas, and then I got the Hello Winter. Like I said, we'll do probably a flip through of all of this here in a second but then I also stopped up at Michael's and they were having uh additional 25% off of everything in addition to the 40% off of all of the paper crafts so I went on ahead and I picked up some uh, cardstock paper pads I picked up a smaller version here of the peppermint stripe I got the Frosted Juniper and the smaller 6x6. And then I got, what is this? Glistening Snow, which I think is absolutely stunning. So we will be making dividers with this and creating spreads with these guys. But then I also wanted to add in a little something extra. And I always miss out on the opportunity to pick up the vellum books so i picked up this guy which is the snow globe vellum and there are 24 sheets in here so the opportunities are endless so let's go ahead go down to my desk i'm going to pre-cut some of these things just to you know speed up the process here but let's go ahead and get this planner ready to go all right, I almost forgot that I picked up this washi as well, which feels like it goes pretty good with this uh, paper pad as well, the glistening snow, which I just wanted to mention that. All right, let's go on ahead and get into the flip through. So I have never picked up stickers from Live Love Posh, so I'm extremely excited about getting these two sticker books. Um, and I really wanted to get both because the winter, I love doing all kinds of little uh, spreads and stuff for the winter time. So I really wanted to get the Hello Winter. And I really felt like these were super expensive, but now realizing just how many stickers are in each one of these sticker books, now it makes total sense so i'm really really excited to finally get into this so let's just go through and boom oh my gosh this winter bucket list is given oh and it's two of each okay that's perfect i love this it gives us paper and then this is clear sticker paper so i love that as well the little dolls pop in both of those are paper it's cute little winter florals. Oh, this is adorable, you guys. It's been a little minute since we've done a flip through. And it's been a, even longer since I've been, like, extremely excited about a sticker book. So getting this and flipping through with you guys. Oh, okay. If I'm keeping a G rear with y'all, this is why I picked up this sticker book. Because something about this, like, is so my vibe between the oranges and the little floral y'all know i love florals if it's been if you've never been here then you don't know i love florals but i love florals in my sticker book look at that oh, so good and these are just super moody beautiful oh look at the little fox look at that so cute and the little moose oh my goodness and the little shapes so many really good stickers in here sorry my dogs i mean dogs are gonna dog right that is really cute i love this blue a mood this is stunning i'm trying to go a little faster because we'll be here all day child that is 
These are going to be fun to make little scenes, little cozy situation. Oh, I love this. I'm loving this sticker book even more than I thought that I was going to because honestly, like I said, the the orange, the oranges. Cute girls. Love that. Love all the different shades, all the races. We love that. These are gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited to create a spread with these. Okay, so this is more cutesy and fun. I like that. This isn't really my style, but I can still see creating some pretty cute spreads with that. I love the little, the little planners. Very cute. Okay, and they have a little something for Hanukkah. Oh, and yes, 2024, but of course, the girls down here, I mean, serving, serving, yes. Okay, and we have clear and paper, so again, really nice. Oh, quite a few sheets for the new year, which is nice. Okay, and now we are getting into some quotes and some more functional stickers. Walking in a winter wonderland, so cute. Paper and clear again. Some boxes, which is nice. More functional stickers again. Really, really nice. Okay, and we have some different color schemes. So blues, greens. Oh, and of course, yes, pinks and reds. That's really nice. I love this so much, y'all. I love this sticker book. I'm I'm not even gonna hold y'all. This might be one of my favorite sticker books. What the heck? So good. Okay. So now let's move forward to the chic Christmas. I was really telling myself that I didn't need any more Christmassy stickers, but once I kind of like did a little quick run through of them, I was like, well, yeah, I, I think I do like it. And this is what I liked. I try not to do, I try not to view as many flip through videos so I can give you guys like a genuine Oh, these are so stinking cute. Look at the little Santa Clauses. Oh, yeah, I'm in love with this. This is cute. And this is why I ended up with this because, oh, this is giving candy land. Oh, that is adorable. So cute. These are pretty. I love those ornaments. Oh, and that's like one, one whole sticker there. That's really cute. I like that. Okay. Sexy Mrs. Claus purr. I know that's right, girl. I know that's right. Oh, these are gorgeous. Again, a moment for a lovely scene. Oh, look at the little Santa. I might make him brown. <laughs> That's cute. This house. I wish that was my house. That house is cute. Very cute. Okay. Cute. I like these colors. Look, it's me and my best friend. That kind of looks like Taylor Swift. She looked like Sierra. Am I tripping? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. She looked like Sierra and Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm a fool. Ignore me. These are cute. Christmas baking queen. Christmas calories don't count. That is a fact, hun. Oh, yeah. I'm really glad that I picked this up. This is absolutely adorable. This little situation here. Oh, that's like a mom and daughter sledding. Cute. Okay, queen. I like this color scheme. This is really nice. Very cute. Okay, Gucci, Gucci down. Yeah, that's right. A luxurious Christmas. These are cute. Oh, the little baby. Y'all, I was so close to not getting Christmas stickers. And I'm so glad that I got these. I was like, girl, you're going to use what you got. No, I'm, I'm going to try some new stuff, make myself happy. Because new stickers are always fun, especially when they are this fab. How adorable. I love these colors. That's really cute. Okay, y'all. Look. Wow. Adorable. Okay, now we got some quotes back here. 
Very nice, very nice. Open it up. Bust it open. <gasps> Look! I'm missing a sticker. What? That's crazy. Yeah, and both. What was going on here? Does anybody know? Was it something like, was there a typo, maybe? Is that what had happened? Maybe I'll, I'll do my research, but why am I missing these stickers out of both of these? Maybe it was a typo. I'm, I'm going to assume that's what it was. Y'all, love these. Okay, like I said, okay, now <laughs> let's regroup. <laughs> now that we've seen all the cuteness, um, I want to give you guys a quick flip through of what my planner is looking like now. And I did try to consolidate it some only because I had it on larger discs. And I feel like I knew that I could get them down to like the mini discs just fine. That way it was more like a notebook rather than a fully packed planner. So um, the clear cover here I got from Live Love Posh as well. Let's take this off real quick. This front page I created myself with some... Um, paper pads that I already own and then I just use some some letter stickers here to create this little front sheet which I think is absolutely cute but I do want to switch it up like I said everything is going to be a full overhaul and I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to get rid of this cover this I purchased on Etsy maybe two or three years ago I'm not sure but you can see I also have the paper pad this paper pad is old I got it from Hobby Lobby but it matches the paper pad which is why I ended up getting it off of Etsy but and I'm sure this isn't available anymore but just to to mention and then again using more paper pad paper Christmas paper pad stuff. I created all of these little things myself. So we will be redoing, revamping all of this. And then, all right. So what I wanted to do, do I want to do a full? Yeah, we're just going, let me just give you a quick run through. So I have some monthly sheets here in the front just to jot down some like important dates and stuff. And you can see that I already started that somewhat. Looks really cute. And then boom, we go into, this is gonna be like a memory planner. So I redated all of this. Um, I just used some horizontal layouts from a planner that I already had on hand. And then I have this little divider here, which came from, um, it came from a companion pack, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, and then all of these inserts came from the Happy Planner. So we have these dividers, which they're really colorful. I'm really wanting to go extremely neutral. That way I can like, you know, pick and choose. And I don't know, I just wanna create a new theme. So what I'll probably end up doing, because I don't have it on hand today, I'll probably get some clear dividers, like side tab dividers, just so I can always go back and like revamp it however I want to and create a little, you know, tab. I haven't quite figured that all the way out yet, but I know for sure we're gonna be using this pad to create the divider. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dividers is what I need to account for. Um, these are double-sided. I thought about just covering them up with the paper, but that will make this even chunkier. And I really wanna keep this on the mini discs. So I will be creating my own double side because these are one-sided papers. So I will have to double it up myself. So we need to create eight dividers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to begin that process just by cutting all of the sheets. But first, let's 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 pick them out together at least. So let's bust this open because it's been a while since I've like, I don't think I've, no, no, I kind of did the, my gardening planner somewhat from scratch. Okay, so this is the paper that we are working with. So let me get this out of the way. 
So this is really cute, really neutral. I really like that, so let's pull that out. I definitely like these sheets just to create some little inserts as well. So we'll pull one of those out. That's pretty. Oh, let's also pull this out. I love the foil. And I do have clear and the disc, they have gold sparkle in them but i think that'll still be still be really pretty so let's go ahead and pull this out as well so right now we only have one divider so two to that is we like that and then that's pretty i think i'm going to create a sign for my salon using these so i'm just going to pull that off to the side these are really cute, but I'm not 100. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to pull in some of the hollow. And then we got these snowflakes here. Got some little washi type strips, which is really cute. Oh, that's gorgeous. Almost looks like ornaments. I think I would pull them this way rather than that way because then they look like ornaments this way. A lot of snowflakes, which I'm not mad at, but oh, that's that's different. I like that. Some bigger snowflakes. That's just kind of plain. Holographic. Oh, that's gorgeous. So really, we're just grabbing one of each of these. <laughs> Totally fine. I don't know why I'm going from the back now, but. Okay, I like this because it's not uber like Christmas, you know? It's giving more like winter. And I like that because it'll be a little bit more flexible to work with like I said with my spreads which is what the whole point was so let me get these babies out of the way so these we'll use to create some inserts so let's just set that to the side so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14. And actually, we need two more because we need front and back, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, let's pull two more out of here. And then we're going to cut everything down to size. I'm going to do that off camera just to save us a bit of time. Because this is about to be quite a lengthy project so i'm going to cut all of these down to the size the classic size that we need and then i will return with how we're going to do everything else all right so i have everything cut down to size and i ended up pulling a couple more things as well so i got this out of this frosted juniper smaller book um i just grabbed a couple of these like more decorative cards and then i thought this would make for a nice little cover page situation i'm not 100 percent sold on it yet because not unless i can find some foiled letters but i went on ahead and i grabbed that as an option and then, of course, we have all of these little cards here as well, which the other option would be, where'd it go? Oh, this one. So I thought this one would look really nice up underneath a vellum. So something like that. But then again, with the frosted cover as well, that might be a lot of masking. And actually, I did not take into account. Well, no, that might still look fine. No, I don't know. Maybe I need to do the, the vellum cut out a little bit bigger to fill out the entire 
cover space. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. Anyways, so I just have another option, obviously. So, and then we have all of these and I do have my punch handy. So I think how I wanna do these is I wanna pair them up with their um, their lookalike here. So these ones are the same. So I will paste these two together as one, you know, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So now I'm just gonna go through, pair these up. I think I'm gonna do the hollow side, you know, on one side and then, you know, the regular one on the back side. So everything has like a cohesive look. So I think that's how we are gonna do it. So before I punch, I think I'm gonna tape them together using my permanent adhesive tape. Let me, let me organize my desk real quick because this is gonna <laughs> become a mess real quick. So what I believe I'm gonna do is purchase some side dividers, clear. Um, Live Love Posh has them, I believe. Um, Amazon sometimes has them. I just need to track some down real quick. And that is how I will put the, um, what each section will be. So I'm not 100% sure which one I'm gonna use for what just yet. So for now, I am going to complete the project of adhesing them together. Is that a word, adhesing? <laughs> I don't even know, child. But I'm gonna paste all of these together and then punch them. And then once I have all of my dividers made, we will begin to put this together and figure out how we wanna lay her out. Fair, let's do it. All right, so we have everything put together, punched, good to go. So now we just need to figure out where we want to put what, so. First things first, I know that I wanna make a new cover page. However, I'm feeling like I wanna use maybe this paper because then it will go hand in hand with this vellum, which I think that I want to put, or maybe I can put this on the inside because for right now I'm going to keep this cover because I like how it just holds everything together and let's pull these guys out and just put those off to the side like I said I'll definitely want to use this vellum here let's pull that out so that vellum will somewhat cover up this and it matches well with that. So what I also need to do is I need to make new little inserts for this. My idea for this in the past was to do like 24 days. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 days of Christmas with these. So I'll do that another time. So for now, I'll set it to the side. So we have that. And then right here is where, which I need to create another divider for this because I forgot that I created this. This is a divider for the memory planning so i'll put that actually i'll just go on ahead and use one of these just so i'll remind myself later to recreate something so we'll put that here so boom we have that really cute okay 
I'm digging, I'm digging. And then I'm going to keep this divider here. But for the menu, we'll, I don't know. Let me, let me sort these out now. How do I want this to go? So we'll go boom, bam, boom, bam. Try to sp spread out the holographic so it's every other divider. So we'll do it like that. So that first divider here is holographic. So then we'll go here for menu planning. And then for the pate, it's perfect. Like that. Then we go into cards. And maybe in the future, I'll create my own layouts as well for all of these items. But I have a lot of this Happy Planner paper, so I'm going to continue to use that. And like that. So then, memories. That's cute. I'm loving this already so, so much. And then, see, and the other thing that I was thinking too is I can switch up how I want this to go. So I actually want my cookie exchange to be more towards the front where the holiday menu planning is. So maybe instead of party, We'll put cookie exchange. See, y'all, mm -hmm. I'm so smart. So let's pull that out, put that to the side. We'll do cookie, cookie recipes. We got menus, cookies, then gifts, cards and gifts. And then we have, this is holiday traditions. I don't really need a note section. What did I wanna do with, this is the holiday planner or the party planner. So let's put that here. Or do I want this here? is holiday traditions which in the past I've had a hard time trying to figure that out so instead I'm going to put the party planner there and then we don't need the cookie exchange and then stickers I don't need a whole divider for that so really we don't need another divider okay so note section and like that Okay, okay. I'm pleased with it. And again, stay with me here because, like I said, this front cover will be changing. Um, we'll need to create these guys. So we'll put these back in here because this is somewhat of our memory planner. So I'm going to do a picture a day here we have that we have this lovely vellum here so now let's go on ahead and decide what kind of front cover situation we want to do because i'm going to keep this here for now i do want to cover it with a different paper though so let's see um this would be nice because that kind of gives us like the barn house feel that i was going for that's really the inspiration i kind of wanted everything i wanted everything to be neutral that way it would be like a barn house feel but i feel like for the cover i need to go like 
decorative. So let me grab another pad. Okay, so what I'm having in mind of right now, I grabbed these two papers from some previous year's uh, paper pads, which I'm not even going to show you guys because they're no longer available. But I, oh, yep. <laughs> I wondered if I could keep this and I can. So I think I really like this little holidays with the honey, honey woods. I think it's so adorable. And I forgot at the time I was not using permanent adhesive. So perfect. We can reuse it. Um, yeah, I love this. Like this is like perfect. I love it so much. Okay. So we will reuse this, but definitely put it on some new paper. And I still like this like ripping effect here, but I thought this looked really cozy together, right? So, and it still kind of blends in well with this background. So I'm not sure how I wanna go about it though. Yeah, I like that a lot. So we're gonna set this to the side. I think this is gonna be our backdrop and I'm somehow going to like color block this in. Let me, let me, let me brainstorm a little bit more. I'm gonna cut these down to size to fit the entirety of this, this page here or the front cover. So I'm gonna use this to size my paper and then I'll come back and we'll we'll design this together. All right, so I have everything cut back down to size again specifically for the cover. So now I'm just taking my little corner tool and rounding the edges. I accidentally went a little too high on this, but that's totally fine. I am already feeling this cover so much, so much. Ooh, see, I went a little. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this as a base. I don't know why I just did that with all of this, but that's totally fine. Um, let's put her here. Put this cover back on. There we go. Oh, so cute. All right. So now let's see. Do I want to take this off? It's no longer like serving the purpose, low key. Right? Maybe we don't need this. I'll set it to the side if I change my mind. Okay, so now I just need to figure out where my center is with this. So. I think we're right about here, right? If I was smart, I would have tried to make sure that the middle was center, but then it wouldn't have mattered because of that, you know? I don't know. We're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna use this line like that. I think, I think I'm okay with this. Okay, so. Let's use the permanent adhesive and maybe I'll come up with a different idea for the future of my covers or oh, we'll rip it up and it'll be totally fine. Okay, again, let's use this as our guide. I'm not really so paying attention to these to here I can go up a tad like that I'm okay with perfect enough right oh so cute y'all I'm loving it but I definitely need some color so I want to pull in some more decorative elements on this front pan. Use some of this because maybe I could have put this like on the back, the backdrop, right? 
Can I lift this up? Yeah. Okay, not ready for that to go all the way down yet, but maybe we can do something like this and layer it in. It's like cozy sweaters and a flannel, right? So maybe I'll use this and let's trim around it. Oh, cute. I think this is it, y'all. Okay, so yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. So now let's go on ahead and commit. It's already a little bit of adhesive on there, so let me be careful not to overdo Does that look straight to you guys? Like it looks just a, a wee cricket. Oh, yes. I love it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, so all I really need to do now is going to redo these so i'm gonna set that to the side because we are going to address that we have that going on again memory planner menu then we have our cookies again i will be getting clear dividers for each space here that way i can always refresh this whenever i want to this will be my little creative little corner um and then this here was for gifts cards and then party planning and then we have a notes section in the back where I can maybe put in um, like my bucket list stuff or maybe that can go up in the front with memory planning and then we have stickers and stuff oh I forgot about this little back cover situation here so maybe I'm gonna keep this back on here because I have my pen loop attached. I didn't want to attach it to the clear. So we'll have to create something for the back to cover this up. So maybe I'll just use the little cozy sweater stuffs. All right, you guys, I think at this point I am settled on everything. So obviously this is the front cover that we just made together. And I went on ahead and chopped down all of the little bits of paper to put in this little 24 days of Christmas, like a little Christmas countdown situation. Not 100% sure what I want to do here just yet, but... We're going to figure her out. But I did do exactly what I did with the rest of this paper. I made it double-sided. That way, um, I'm not working with a bunch of individual bits of paper. I'm going to flip this around because I don't want these two things like back-to-back -back like that. So, yeah. So, we have this, which is just going to be like a photo memory planning situation. We have this beautiful vellum to sell it. Sell, huh? 
we have this beautiful vellum to separate everything. And these are just our monthly calendars, just to have a full glance view of everything. And then we get into our memory planning situation here. And then we have this divider, which I'm not 100% certain that I'll keep this in here now that everything else is in here. It's just throwing off the vibe, but I might keep it, who knows. Um, Again, I will be getting the clear dividers for each one of these sections so I can always go back and like, you know, recreate my own dividers. Um, but I don't currently have that, but that's totally fine. What I'll end up doing is using this same little labeling system to create all of said and dividers. So we have our menu planning, we have our cookie recipes we have our cards i think i might switch this actually we have cards and then gifts but maybe i want to put yeah i'm going to put party planner right behind the menu stuff because that kind of goes hand in hand so let's put the cards back here and then so <laughs> let's start over here so we will have menu cookies party planning and then we will have gift ideas we have a section for cards and then we have a note section which i will probably put like a bucket list of some sort here and then we have all of our stickers back here and we just created this little situation here and then boom the back cover i am extremely pleased with this it's been a long time again since i've done this sort of video with you guys creating a planner somewhat from scratch hopefully you all enjoyed if you did please make sure that you go on ahead and hit this with a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and until the next time i wish you all health wealth and prosperity peace out